Hello everyone, I am Anish Pandey. Welcome back to the UiPath Agentic Automation video series. In the previous video, you saw how our IT support agent can use tools like Jira to create tickets and context like IT policy or troubleshooting guides to directly solve user issues. Now, we will take one step ahead and explore the escalation. Now, you'll be thinking what is the escalation? Escalation means whenever the agent is not sure like what step it needs to take or the issue is risky, then agent hands over the decision-making part to a human for review and approval. And this is called human in the loop, H-I-T-L. Let's say, if employee says, I am not able to install or uninstall UiPath Studio or any application, I need access to install or uninstall this. So for this type of request, the agent understands that, okay, for this, we need approval from the human. Because this looks uh, some different issue from different uh, request from user side. It is not available in the IT support and also it's not something like we can just create a Jira ticket. So this needs to be escalated to the IT support manager or to some upper level. So for that we need to add the escalation. We need to set up the escalation. So let's open the same agent and now scroll down and you see here is the escalation. We need to add that escalation. You see, escalate to an assigned person before the agent takes an important action. Okay. So we need to click on es add escalation. Now, once we click on this, it will automatically take this uh, escalation name as escalation underscore one. And right side, you see some properties of this one. So you need to enter the escalation name, description, and then from here, you need to select the app if you already have deployed in orchestrator. As per UiPath documentation, you can only use published and deployed apps to configure the agent escalations. Right? So if you want to create an agent escalation with Xon apps, first you need to create publish and then deploy the apps, and then you can use it here in the agent. So let's First, build an app. We'll not use this one. That we can do from orchestrator. So for that, I will click on open orchestrator. Okay. So you see here, currently we don't have any or, uh, any apps here which we can deploy. So I need to first go to the UiPath apps. And for that, we need to click on this. And you see the a option apps. If you're not getting here, because this is favorites, you can search here. Click on this. Okay. Now here we need to create a new app. We'll click on create new app. Enter the name. This is IT support escalation app. Got it? Now let's click on create. Here we have template to use. So I'll use this one, simple approval. Let's select it. And for now, I don't need this comment. I'll remove this comment box. I need to update this as well. Go to the general, click here, go to expression. And then I will say, save. And then here we have content for review. I will change that and say user issue. Click on this. It clearly says that this is the user request or user issue. And then here we need to update this dynamically. Means we need to take it from the user request, from the user prompt itself. So for this, we need an input variable which will take it from our agent. So we'll delete this, clear this. Now to show this 
data here we need to make it action we'll click on that and we'll click on continue now you see we have an action schema also added here let's cancel this i will not use this now in this action schema we need to enter the outcomes like as approve or reject and then we need to pass the input and output properties so i will say first outcome is the approve now click here plus reject click outside okay so we have two outcomes in the input property i will take this is user issue and then let's go to this page now again we'll search for that retail label and then from here we will select from the action and this is the user issue we'll just take this expression and then now we need to click an event for this approve and reject so we'll select that button go right side and in the events click on create rule and then from here select this submit action from the output from the outcome select approve now once you select an action and for this submit action you see there is an action this for on this approve button this icon now we need to make it same thing for this reject button we'll click on create and then submit action and this time we'll select the reject button reject right so we have approve and reject okay now we are done with this let's preview this app how it looks like so it looks like this way here you see the user message the user request and then we need to either approve or reject now we need to publish this so click on publish and click on publish you see the tenant where you are going to publish that let's publish it now this app has been published now do you want to deploy that you see automatically suggesting a next step for you so you need to deploy it so click on deploy now and then it will redirect to the ui path orchestrator here now click on deploy app select that app now if you update the display name it will show you else it will take this way same as this version if you want to add the description add this else click next and click deploy so our app name is it support underscore escalation app got it now let's go back to the agent now let's refresh this page okay let's go to the agent escalation click on this and then let's enter the description what is the purpose of this escalation so we can say escalate it to it support manager now from the action app click on that and now you see that deployed apps that we have created from the ui path apps studio and we have deployed in the orchestrator so you can access it now select that you will also see from here left side in this apps this is the deployed one you see other connections jira context processes now we have additional properties like what should be the task title in the action center so if you want to put all these things you can take else this is not mandatory so i will leave this as it is now in the assignment we need to choose that recipient so i will select here ui path rpa now we are done with this escalation underscore one so i will just change this name escalation underscore it support now we need to also tell the agent that now you can escalate this to the human and for that we need to update 
this prompt. For that, we will go to this autopilot and I will say So let's update our system prompt and then the user prompt as well. Review, accept, review, accept, I think got it. Now let's see these prompts. So you see here, now managing escalation through an action apps. This has been added here. So if solution is not found or the issue cannot be resolved using the documentation, determine the priority based on the impact and urgency, initiate the escalation process through action app, wait for the approval or rejection re decision. If approved, create a Jira ticket with the following details like project, issue type, description, uh, summary, brief description and then detailed. Priority based on the issue impact and label. Provide the user with a ticket number and any immediate advice if applicable. If rejected, then this one. Now in the user IT issue, same thing. I think we are done. Let's debug it. In the user issue, I will say I need access to install or uninstall UiPath Studio please provide or grant me access okay so basically I need access to install or uninstall UiPath Studio so I'm asking to grant me access now let's Click on save and debug. Let's see what is happening here. Is it directly going to create a Jira ticket or it's going to escalate that? So you see here IT support docs and then now it's going to use escalate escalation. So it tried to find it in this IT support doc docs and then it was not able to find it then it's going to escalate that to the manager id support manager using this it support escalation app now it's running means once it reached to this means this has been already escalated to the manager in the action center for that we have to open action center let's open the action center from here Okay, so this is the action center. Now you see one pending task we just now and now you see here one minute ago means just now it was created. Let's click on this. Okay, now you see same application that we designed. We are getting here in the action center. Now you see this user issue that we have passed in the user issue while debugging that need access to install or uninstall uipath studio got it let's click approve do you wish to mark this task as complete yes i want to complete it now this is done let's go back to the agent now you see once you'll complete it from here then it's going to create an issue and you see the response this is the user issue and the output this is the ticket number up13 and then response your ticket your request for access to install or uninstall uiba studio has been escalated and approved a jira ticket created to process your request the team it team will follow up with you shortly means first it is approved now a jira ticket has been created so that it support team can work on that and give access to that address to user Got it. And the escalation status is escalated. Escalation result is approved. So why we are getting this? Because we have output as a ticket number, 
response, escalation status, escalation results. Okay, so these are the four variables in output we have. In the result, we are getting that approved or rejected. In the escalation status, we are getting that this is escalated or not. This is the response. This is the ticket number. Got it? In the input, we have user issue only. Now let's try to reject that. So let's run one, one more time. I need access to install Microsoft Office. I need access to install Microsoft Office in my system. Let's debug it. Again, it is looking into this document and then going to escalate that. Let's go to the action center. And you see one more pending task. 12 second ago. And you see here the user issue. And the manager can see that, okay, user issue is this. Need access to install Microsoft Office in my system. Now click on reject this time. I don't want to give the access to install Microsoft Office. Reject it. Now let's go back to the. Now after that, if it's rejected, it seems it's not going to create a Jira ticket. You see, there is no ticket number. Response Your request has been reviewed and cannot be processed at this time. Please visit the IT help desk for the further assistance and the result is rejected. So you saw here, if it is approved the access, then it created a separate Jira ticket so that IT team can work on that and give access. If rejected, it has not created ticket. So everything is mentioned in this system prompt and user prompt and based on that agent is performing. So you understood how to use escalation in this agent. So now you can see you understood how to write a system prompt, how to write user prompt, how to use tools, context and escalations. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching this video.